Posterior Cervical Foraminotomy The posterior cervical endoscopic foraminotomy approach from Arthrex is an ultra-minimally invasive surgery, ideal for patients who have been diagnosed with certain types of cervical stenosis. In this procedure, an endoscope is used to assist access and visualization. The patient is placed in the prone position. The midline is marked by palpation, followed by a second mark one centimeter lateral to the midline. A C-arm is used to verify the correct level or levels being treated using both AP and lateral fluoroscopy. Insert an introducer needle one centimeter lateral to midline. Palpate the upper lamina using the needle. Make a vertical skin incision, then insert the guide wire oriented 90 degrees to the floor, adjusting the bed as needed. Insert the switching stick and cannula. Free up tissue by medial to lateral movement of the cannula. Confirm cannula placement using lateral fluoroscopy and ensure its placement is 90 degrees to the spine. Expose the upper and lower lamina, revealing a V-point. Using a high-speed burr and or kerosens, remove bone to convert the V to a U. Identify the ligamentum flavum. Working from caudal to cranial, dissect the ligamentum flavum using kerosens and other instruments. Throughout the procedure, visualize the working end of the instruments prior to removing tissue by rotating the endoscope. Resect the ligament to view the lateral border of the dura. Once you have identified the lateral border of the dura, the nerve root can be identified. The endoscope and cannula can be rotated 90 degrees to visualize the foramen and nerve to confirm that decompression is complete. Use a ball tip probe to palpate the pedicle and foramen and confirm a complete decompression via a lateral view. The endoscope and cannula can then be removed, followed by wound closure and placement of a jumpstart bandage 